Your first service of the day is a routine oil change, and as part of the service, you're going to inspect the underhood fluids, the condition of the drive belts, maybe even put it up in the air and check the brake pads and tire wear. But one of the first things you should do is grab your scan tool. Why? Well, stick around, and I'll tell you in today's edition of The Trainer. For some time now, our collision repair cousins have had to perform a pre and post scan of all the vehicle's electronic systems. Now that just kind of makes sense when you think about it. The insurance company wants to make sure that everything that was damaged in the accident is identified before the repairs are made and then everything has been properly repaired before it's delivered to the customer. And I've been telling you for some time now that we should be doing the same thing but maybe for slightly different reasons. There are so many electronic systems on the vehicle today that your customer may not be aware if your problem exists in any of those systems. So just like performing a visual inspection, doing a pre-scan will help us identify any problems that they're not aware of, so we can properly advise them in the maintenance of their vehicle. Now certainly it might result in some extra business, but that's not the main reason for doing it. The main reason is because it's an ethical responsibility we have as professionals. After all, they entrust us to help them decide what they need to do to maintain what is for them a very large investment. And of course, once these repairs are made, doing the post scan only validates the repairs that we recommended and shows the customer that yes, indeed, we took care of the problem. And while performing a full system scan requires either a factory scan tool or an aftermarket tool that has enhanced, that is OE specific software is required it really takes very little time to actually perform. And the report, like the one generated by the Autel MS919, can be downloaded and shared with the consumer in person, by email, or by text message. Be sure to keep a copy for your own customer records. Another inspection item that should be on your list is a check of the battery starting and charging system. Weak batteries are increasingly the cause of a variety of electrical and drivability problems. And if you live up north where it gets a little cold, you could be saving your customer from being stranded by a battery that won't start the vehicle. Now you can use a handheld tester or with the Autel, I can use the BT506 and do it from my scan tool. And just like the full system scan, the battery test is easy to perform. Just going to select battery test from the main menu in vehicle test. Since it's connected to the DLC, it's automatically populating the information for the battery that should be installed on the vehicle. And I can compare that to what is installed. That can be an important consideration on today's vehicles. We'll make sure that that's the correct spec for the battery that's in the vehicle. Necessary adjust it. And then we'll click on next to continue the test. It's going to tell us to make sure that we have all the electrical devices turned off, keys off, and close all the vehicle doors before we can proceed. And once the test is complete, it's easy enough for me to select report and have a printable report that I can either print out and give to my customer or send by email or text. Of course, I want to keep a copy for our records. But hold on, we're not done quite yet. The next step I want to take is to go into that enhanced mode and look for any included diagnostic tests that I can perform with the scan tool. And with a capable platform like the MS919, I'm sure we'll find a few. Now many manufacturers are allowing us to perform relative compression, power balance, even injector flow tests right from the driver's seat using the tool. This also gives us another way to inspect the overall condition of the vehicle so we can make the appropriate recommendations. Now, if you're a scope guy like I am, there are other tests that I have yet to make that will help me get a feel for the mechanical condition of the engine. Now, most Highline scan tools today have a scope functionality, and the Autel MS919 is no exception. One example of a quick scope test is the relative compression test, using nothing more than a basic connection to the battery. To perform this test, 
connect one channel of the scope to the battery as you would for any voltage measurement. Next, we're going to turn our scope to AC coupling. Select the 2 volt scale or 400 milliseconds per division. and use a time sweep of 5 seconds or 500 milliseconds per division. If you find yourself working alone, use the single trigger function. You can set it for a rising or falling slope, but set the voltage level around 2 tenths of a volt or 200 millivolts. Disable the fuel system, start the scope, and crank it over. When you're done, you should have captured a pattern similar to the one that you see here on the screen. Now, I'm not interested in what the actual voltage measurement is. I'm interested in how much it drops as each cylinder comes to top dead center of compression. If it's a good healthy cylinder, I'll get a good voltage drop because of the current demand being placed on the starter. And if one is not so healthy, I won't see as much of a drop. And that'll stand out as an anomaly, letting me know that there might be a problem. Performing a visual inspection is always going to be an important part of the routine maintenance services that we offer. But when you take into consideration how many systems on the vehicle are now electronically controlled, Performing that full system scan is just as important. And if you have access to advanced tests like some of the ones I've shared today, well, that's just gonna take your inspection process to the next level. And it's gonna help you advise your customer and help them best maintain their vehicle. Now, if you want more information on any of the Autel products that you've seen today, by all means, visit www.autel.com. And as always, thanks for watching.